Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you're doing well. We're going to jump into the message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Gemini. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Check with your other placements if you're not finding resonance in this message. Your moon sign, your rising sign, or really any of the other zodiac that stand out to you. We do have all 12 zodiac archetypes working within us. So, let's get into the message for Gemini, please. What do we have for Gemini? We have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. That's a good practice. <laughs> That's a good practice to commit yourself to. Uh, let's get into why this card came out. Love. Having love for your fellow neighbor, having love for that which you may not fully understand, but trying to see the good in all things. That's hard. That's not easy all the time. But we do have the ability. Every single one of us possesses multiple, multiple personalities and the duality of the light and the shadow Um within all of us we all have something good we also all have something that um we would claim to be not so good okay mm. and it's awareness yes the more we are aware of our shadow the more we are aware of our patterns and it, it really comes down to um Whatever we, I do to someone else, I also do to myself because that is how truly deeply connected we all are. So when we have this practice of seeing life with love, um, committing to the practice of seeing the good in all, we're also putting that back onto ourselves. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, Two of Cups. Sharing love, companionship, camaraderie with another. Strength. <laughs> Sometimes it does take strength. Yes, when our, in our loving relationships to others, there are times when we will be tested and challenged and triggered. But don't forget about the beauty and the, the love that exists there as well queen of cups there we go exactly overall four of wands so this definitely has to do with many of you a marriage others of you a partner um a home a family the four of wands is typically some kind of partnership usually marriage and the empress below that um so we're talking about uh, a loving connection with another and how sometimes it does take strength, it takes courage, it takes inner wisdom to um, tame our own ego, needing to be right and all of that stuff, um, but also strength to actually commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And here we have the queen of emotions having compassion and love and empathy as our all ultimate strength. All right. Almost looks like a Disney movie here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It does, it's beautiful. Um, so let's see. And maybe you truly just have that innocent, that, that powerful, beautiful, compassionate, um, energy that just overrides other people's shadow. It may bring out the shadow from time to time, 
but at the same time it's 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 setting it's leading by example yes thank you leading life by example ace of materials the hierophant and the devil okay <clears throat> So, I feel like there's a new opportunity for you to actually learn about yourself and possibly some attachments that you still have or patterns that may be unhealthy. The devil is that which has its grip on us to such a degree that we cannot even see its shadow. Um, but it, it it's also linked to our deepest insecurities and um, fears and other things that can really, when they are triggered, can cause us pain. And sometimes when we're in pain, we react in a way that causes pain to others, hurt people, hurt people. Um, but I'm I'm seeing that you're actually really getting you're learning something here. Oh. Um, there's wisdom here to be understood and it's opening up a, a, a new, maybe a new way of relating, a new opportunity, a new, a fresh start, fresh start. Okay. And this doesn't have to be a romantic, like if you're not married and if you're not in a partnership, this is, um, it could be past for some, a past partnership, a past marriage. It could also be um, someone that you just, you, you're very um, closely linked to and you do a lot together or you roommates or there's something there. The strength card with the three of inspiration. So what it does, it takes strength and internal strength to not try to control but to actually allow things to fall and allow the universe to put things into the proper order. So this is divine timing. This is kind of sitting back and like trusting that something is stirring and something is shifting. And instead of getting intertwined and mixed in maybe somebody else's stuff, just sort of, um, you know, having the patience and the, empathy and compassion to just okay go about do your thing i'll be here i'm watching things just fall into place all right so that they make more sense to you yes it makes more sense to you instead of uh jumping to conclusions there we have six of materials with two of emotions and when we do this, we allow our heart energy, we allow our energy to actually be the driving force here in our relationships, which ultimately brings balance and equal give and take, equal reciprocity. When we don't play their game, when we don't play the game that's tied to the devil, old patterns, old behaviors, old beliefs, it doesn't ruffle your feathers anymore. You're committed to seeing the good in all, committing to see the good in all things. Okay, including experiences. So, all right, overall we have the night of voices. Yes, again, things are gonna become clear. There may actually be um, clear communication. You might be given the opportunity to clearly communicate what it is that you need to communicate, but this will be, um, better received when you're not in a reactive state. All right, so we're going to get you one last message and advice from Shamanic Healing Oracle, Gemini. Don't forget to click the like button below the video if you're liking the video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And feel free to comment. I love to read all of your comments. Okay, so we have two cups twice. What else do we have? Okay. So 
So no matter how you shake it, this is definitely has to do with your relationship to somebody else. A loving relationship that which can always be a little challenging we have reunion of souls beautiful yeah knowing that everybody we all get triggered and we all act a certain kind of way depending on our past experiences and how we were brought up and when we don't get carried away or swept up in somebody else's stuff or a lot you know when we have our stuff triggered what we sit with it instead of um, not swallow it, not um, ignore it, but not use that as the fire to fire back <laughs> emotional pain back to somebody who might be, you know, doing something. Anyway, we're going to read this one from the book. <laughs> there is a school of thought that says before our souls come to earth, we make contracts or agreements with other souls. At one point in time, we appear in each other's lives to assist those involved in learning a lesson, being a catalyst for a needed change, or to share in profound joy. When a person comes into your life to teach you a lesson, no matter the experience, no matter the human form, no matter the human experience, this agreement is based in love. Interesting. Your first card out. The human experience may have been painful and extremely challenging. Acknowledge the depth of love needed for this contract to take place and then let them go. The experience may have been profoundly moving, but ended abruptly without reason. Again, be grateful and move on. Cherish the lessons and move forward into your life the way it was meant to be. Alternately, this card signifies a profound soulmate relationship, whether it be between lovers, friends, or parents and children. Cherish, cherish the gift given. So, Gemini, I have chills all over. This is a beautiful way to wrap up this reading and confirmation of the reading. So, I hope that you found this to be helpful for you. I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.